Hello everyone, this tutorial shows you how to make a typewriter text effect in Premiere Pro, like what you see in this video right now. Without further ado, let's begin. First, we are going to make a new sequence with horizontal video settings. So, right click the project panel, head over to new item, and select sequence. At the dialog box, you might want to choose the DVNTSC, which is a standard horizontal video preset, and with a standard 48kHz for the sampling rate. If you need custom settings for your video, open the settings tab. Here you can choose the editing mode, for example, choose HDV 720 pixels, which is a common frame size for YouTube videos. You can also give a name for the sequence right away and click OK. Or you can also rename the sequence directly at the project panel by double clicking on it and type any name you want for it. Here I rename the sequence as typewriter effect. Next. Let's drag a media for the text background directly to the timeline. It could be an image or any footage you want. Then activate the text tool and write something over the program monitor. To adjust the text settings, double click the text on the monitor right away. Then go to effect controls. Choose any phone you want, here I choose the old newspaper type phone, which is one of the phones that looks realistically typed by a typewriter. Resize the text, and center align the text. Furthermore, if you want more controls for adjusting the text settings, go to Window, select Essential Graphics, and at the Essential Graphics tab that opens, go to the Edit tab. Make sure the text layer is selected, and here you can align the text vertically and horizontally so that the text will be right on the center of the frame. You can also resize the text here, or change its color as well. If you finish, now you can close the Essential Graphics panel. Then open the effects panel and write linear to the search box. You will see the linear wipe effect appears. Drag it onto the text clip. You might also want to extend the duration of the text to your liking and the background image as well. Even though you have added the linear wipe effect to the text, the linear wipe effect still doesn't take effect yet, so you need to make it works by going to the effect controls. And under the linear wipe, we need to adjust the settings. If you increase the transition completion amount to 100%, the text will be wiped out starting from the left. So the trick to reverse the wipe effect becomes refilling start from the left. Reduce the wipe angle amount to minus 90 degree and increase the transition completion amount to 100%. If you play the video, it still doesn't take effect yet. So to make the effect work, we need to add some keyframes for the effect. Give it 100% for the first keyframe which is the start. And 0% for the last keyframe. Let's play the video to look at how is it going. It seems that the text animation is pretty slow. So to make the animation faster, make the keyframes closer to each other. Let's play it again from the beginning. But the animation looks like the text is revealing, not looks like being typed. If you're okay with that, just go on, you're all set. But if you are not happy with that, let me show you the trick to make it looks really like being typed with a typewriter. We are going to capture some frames and convert them as PNG images for the project, in which each PNG image shows a moment when a letter of the text completely appears. So, move the placeholder to where the first letter completely appears. Then press the export frame button, name it as the letter that appears on the frame, with PNG format file, and make sure the import into project is checked. Click browse to decide where you will save it. and click OK. Then, point the placeholder onto the where the second letter completely appears, click export frame, 
give it a name as the second letter that appears, then click OK. So do with the third letter, you can click this button to step back frame by frame for a more precise placeholder position. Give it a name as a third letter that appears, and so on. Because this task is kind of repetitive, so I speed up this video. I hope you got the idea how to do so. Then open the project panel. Here they are. Now, let's drag the type rotor sound underneath the text or background clip. Let's play the video from the beginning to listen how it sounds like. In the next step, we are going to match every typing sound position to each letter clip. Let's expand the timeline first by holding the Alt button while scrolling your mouse heel. Now we don't need the linear wave effect anymore because it's just helping us to do what we did in the previous step. So, turn off the linear wipe effect track by pressing the eye icon next to each track. Then go to the project panel and find the first letter image. Drag it into the upper track. And adjust the duration exactly between the first and the second typing sounds. Drag the second letter image next to it. Adjust the duration exactly between the second and the third typing sounds. The third letter image as well, and so on. Again, because this step is repetitive and I don't want to make this video too long, so I just speed this video up. I hope you guys got the idea of how to do so. And for the last letter image clip, you can simply cut the duration to match the background clip. Activate the Rajol tool by pressing the C key on your keyboard and cut to the point where you want the timing should be ended, like so, and clear all the remaining clips. That's it. Let's play the video to look at the result. And this is what we get, a typewriter text effect animation. That's all for this tutorial, if you found this very helpful, like and share this video, don't forget to subscribe for more future uploads from Kipo Art Studio. Thanks for watching this video, and see you later.